brother um, helped start NHRA and Bonneville, which are two big car racing things. So I think it was a little bit of my blood. <laughs> and um, and then my dad uh, and my grandfather was a pinstriper. My dad was an artist, and my dad raced speedway and road raced and motocross. So I really didn't have a choice. <laughs> Um, I loved being, doing art, so I painted all my helmets when I was a little kid, and painted my friends' helmets, and still doing the same thing today. Painting my, you know, my helmets and my friends' helmets, just a little lot bigger scale, you know. Um, and then really, I started making a mountain bike glove, and then I was doing work with Showy, and we did a we did a TL comp. We took a Showy helmet that they bicycle helmet and put a visor on it, put graphics on it, and kind of made it for the American market and. Then made a jaw piece for it, so it for downhill and just little a bunch of little steps, you know. And then did a motocross pant jersey and pant, and and then I was still working with Showy and had some new drawings for a helmet for um, for Showy, and they didn't really feel it totally the the direction I was going on it. So I really believed in it, so I went and made my own helmet and. Um, just if I really believe in something and, and think I can make it safer and, and more beautiful, then I usually make it. <laughs> I have to thank all the racers around the world. They're yeah. the ones that really put me on the map. Um, I wouldn't, I, first helmets I painted, I wouldn't even put my name on them, you know? And then the racers said, well, put your name on it, you know? And it took me like a couple of years to figure out what I was gonna call it. And my mom really made me business cards that said Troy Lee Designs, she handed them to me. And I'm like, oh, I'm not going to call it my name. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but after okay. a couple of months of not coming up with a name, I started to hand the cards out, and I got used to it a little bit, you know. Um, I used to sign the helmets really small underneath here because I didn't want anybody to see my name. You know? <laughs> and then Magoo would say, I want you to sign it on the back, or Goat Brecker, and Jeff Ward was a great supporter. And yeah. So then, then I moved it up. Once I made a visor, I made stickers, and I used to sign across the front of the visor. That's one of Magoo's old helmets up there. There's times I've looked out there and go, wow, this is cool, or I, a lot of people come up and go, man, you've done an amazing job, but I more f try to, I'm always, I have you know, a bunch of ideas in my head right now that I want to do. Um, I really want to grow protection in the future. I think protection is so many of these athletes out there, whether the motocross, mountain bike, IndyCar, NASCAR, I think I can make those guys safer. Um, so that is one of my goals. And then um, I like giving back to the sports now because now that I think I have to accomplish something, I love investing in Supercross or Glen Helen National. Or we had a meeting last night with the IndyCar teams about trying to build. I really will think that they need to build capsules for the cars for the for their Indy cars because there's so many parts flying off of them and. So I'm going to do some sketches on what I think would work for, for IndyCar. Um, I like putting on our own races, so I, I'm kind of, I like doing all that kind of stuff. I, I really like doing, that's why I do my race team, it's so much fun because I not only you know, started painting helmets, now I do the gear, now we do the bikes, now we do the bike stands, now we do the semi, now we do the toolboxes, now we do the clothing. <laughs> so it's, I love when I get to do it from start to finish all the way through and get to see my vision you know, I look at a lot what um, Roger Pinsky's done, um, or some of the Formula One teams. Mm -hmm. They do an amazing job. So I think that I try to replicate that in motocross and mountain bike, and and that makes it really fun for me. You can only pick one aspect of what you do: the art and design side of things, or the the bikes and the motorcycles and the, the toys. What would you pick if you had to choose one? Hmm. Man, that that would that would hurt. <laughs> One, God, it's it's like it's like it's the opposite. Of what I'm, my mind is always thinking about, like I'm designing a gun right now here. You know, <laughs> um, I do the helmets for Notre Dame, the football helmets. I mean, I always want to do. I'm painting a rocket um, that's coming here next week here. That's going to jump the Grand Canyon. <laughs> um, so my job really. I've really put good people in place, so my job is to think outside the box and try to do something that no one, you know. Um, we, we painted a gun for the Day in the Dirt as trophies, and now the company's like, wow, everybody wants that gun, so now we're looking at trying to do something in production. So 
And that's why I, I love working with all of our sponsors on our team. Like I love painting. Um, it's funny, sometimes we're doing a little hot wheel car here and then also we're painting you know, the new Range Rover that came in. We're painting the Range Rover in the back and we're also doing a Hot Wheel car for Hot Wheels. So I, <laughs> I love, you know, all the different things, guitars. Variety. Yeah, because every time I paint something different, like I, I'm going to learn something from painting this gun because now I'm studying guns, you know, which I, I'm not even a real big gun fan, but when you dive into guns, you see everything out there and you go, oh, this is easy. I can beat these guys, <laughs> you know? <laughs> or you sit and, you know, I look at Horizon Hobby is sponsoring our, um, our motocross team so now it's cool I get to paint they, they give me a book and I go man I can paint helicopters and airplanes and <laughs> remote control cars and so um, that's what I love about it really is being I I, I, I don't know if I get I just ooh, it would hurt man if I could only paint one thing I mean I hate I love helmets if money wasn't an object I probably just paint helmets <laughs> Because helmets are cool. Because you get to deal with the athlete, and you get to do, you get to experiment a lot. And it's all you, I love that you only have to draw, paint a helmet for one customer. Because a lot of the other product I do has to go to, I try to sell it to thousands. You know, so you got to make sure the fits right, the sizing, the colors, and what I try to do when I design stuff, I tell my employees is we need to design wild and mild. <laughs> so when I'm even on our Supercross team, I'm, I want to. I tell them, I go, even if our guys are in fifth place, I want the announcer to have to say something about them. You know, going, and there's the Troy Lee team because they're popping out, you know, looking, looking good.